Not even I love it right now because I said earlier on, you're the last person I'm talking to, so... I can So that is about Freddie Mercury. We actually just watched the Bohemian Rhapsody movie last night. I mean, what would you rate it out of 10? 20. 20. It was really good. I would say, honestly, 9.8 out of 10 or 10 out of 10. Like, it was the best movie I've seen in a very, very long time. And it's I really... cool to learn about songs that you've just known your whole life. Yeah, because we, we didn't grow up with them. Mm -hmm. Like... It was like, those songs were already around. So like, you just grew up hearing like, we will, yeah. we will. And you're like, oh, geez, he wrote that song? And so I didn't really know a ton about him. But like, watching the movie was really, really cool. But um, but that's what we did yesterday. Yesterday was just a complete off day for me. Today is Sunday. I was going to train, go down and train with Rubio, but his team trainings got changed. So now he has team training this morning, which means that I'm pretty much on my own today. So today, Mimi and I are about to go to the gym. And then later on today, I'm going to get a training session in. It is Sunday, so I think the fields are going to be a little bit busier. Uh, we might have to drive around a little bit to find an open field or an open goal, but we'll make it work. And yeah, but other than that, it's just kind of like a normal Sunday, just working out, trading, and then maybe uh, going to grab coffee if it's a nice day, maybe the beach. Mimi shook her head. No, she doesn't like the beach. She doesn't like sitting out in the sun in the beach. I like the sun. Mimi doesn't like the sun. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the plans for, t for this Sunday. <sighs> Let's do it. Breakfast, I'm just having four eggs, over easy, an apple, an orange, and a cup of coffee. This is like my pre-training meal. My pre-workout meal before I went to the gym was just two bananas, like always, every single day, it's pretty much that. Two bananas, and then I have eggs, more fruit, and some coffee before I go train. And then I'll get like a big, I eat my bigger meals, more like substance meals after I get all my workouts in for the day. The workout, I love that, that doing that workout though. Plyometric, power, it's very like, a tiring workout, but you feel very powerful and fast and explosive after that. So it was a good workout today and short, short and sharp. As pretty much always, I'm wearing the Pactera compression shorts, the best, the best compression shorts. I think there's, with the time this video comes out, there should just be a few days left on this Kickstarter to order that new launch, the new launch of the Pactera stuff with the white, black, charcoal, and also the t-shirt. Um, hopefully by the time this video comes out, we'll be above $10,000, it'll be all good, and you can just keep on getting more and more, because I think right now we're at like $9,300 with the $10,000 goal, Kickstarter goal, which is amazing. Thank you guys all for the support. Pactera Athletics and Aaron, you know, at Pactera, is just so stoked in, on the success of this and everything. And uh, I mean, yeah, I, this, I'm doing this and I'm helping out everything because these really are my favorite um, compression shorts. I want to see the company grow. I want to see more and more of these shorts just get into more and more people's hands. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm just switching into some soccer shorts right now. About to get a training session in. 
Let's do it. El pollo loco. El pollo loco. El palo loco. El palo loco. So one thing I've like struggled with with this series is just like, uh, it's like not a very exciting series in terms of like video views and like, uh, like you know, clickbait to get attention. Cause I literally, off season pretty much comes down to me just training, working out, and then I edit. And like, that's just kind of like what my life is. It's just kind of work. And it's always hard because, you know, I talked to like Raphael and he's just like, it's crazy that, you know, your channel, doesn't get more views, doesn't get more subscribers, there's all this normal stuff compared to a lot of other channels. It's like in the value, like being able to see behind the scenes of professional soccer players, just like, it's so crazy. And I was like, yeah, but you have to realize that not many people take soccer and take their training as seriously as you guys who are watching this. I feel like you guys are the minority of people who really, you know, can connect with me in terms of training and working out and, and staying dedicated to something. Because most people do just want to see like that that crazy, how to train like Mo Salah, how to do five crazy free kicks, how to do stuff like that, and they're just in it kind of more for entertainment. And I'm not saying it's bad to do that or to make those videos or to, to do any of that, but I definitely um, think that like the boring side, the other side, the real side is not as uh, flashy or as glitz or as glam, and it definitely- Marketable. It's not as marketable, that's a good word. So it's just something I've been struggling with, you know, cause I feel like I put in so much effort, not only into my training sessions, but also into these videos. And it's hard to not see them get as, um, as much recognition around YouTube as, you know, three ways to dribble like Sergio Ramos, you know, <laughs> something like that. But it's okay. Just something I just think about and just something you gotta deal with. So this is a really, really simple training session today. I really wanna just work on crossing and kind of working up into more and more advanced type of crossing. So like a five or 10 minute warm up where I just did some like band work. And then I ran back and forth from like the sideline into the six yard box or 18 yard box. Did some dynamic movements and that was pretty much it. Then I went to like the next warm up exercise of this training session and it was just put the ball on the ground right on the six yard line and just really kind of work on that crossing action on the ball uh, where it's curling, but it's like with power and with some pace, kind of that whipping into the box action that makes up a really good cross. And so I'm just kind of practicing that. I did two sets with the right, two sets with the left, and then I brought it back to the penalty spot and did the same exact thing. And then after that, I went and did some stationary crosses, which you will see, and then some rolls to crosses. I'm gonna leave it kind of raw because I, I just kind of like that where you can just hear the ball, hear me training and just watch. But uh, yeah, I mean, super simple, but I'm really just trying to perfect this type of cross. So it's perfect every single time. Lastly, in this training session, it was kind of like really stagnant. So I just wanted to do a little bit of dynamic kind of work. So I just did like a cone weave, just a few cones going through. And then I did like a move, a step over, and then either hit it out to the left or to the right. And then just worked on like an in-step pass slash kind of a slotted shot into the corner. Just really working on just like a fundamental dribbling, attacking 1v1 move, and then just an accurate kind of strike of the ball with just the in-step of the foot. So it was good, easy, and that was about it for the training session.
more stuff, then I'll get out of here for you. Oh, yeah, no worries. Um, now let's go over what's in my bag. I, the title of this video. Usually in my bag, I'll have my cleats. Uh, I have three soccer balls. I have about 20 mini cones, a ball pump, the magic muscle relieving spray, <laughs> aka sunscreen, a spark warm up band, more cones, $25 Panera gift card, some old socks, car keys, and some more sunscreen. And that's it. So I know there's probably gonna be some people out there, or you're out there right now that's like kind of mad about like, oh, you know, this video's titled What's in My Soccer Bag? And it's just not that much things. It's three soccer balls, some cones, and like some bands. Um, but like, I really take like a minimalist approach to everything. And I think a minimalist approach to my training has really helped me, you know, focus on the fundamentals, the passing, the first touch, the stuff that's boring, you know, the, the stuff that's not very exciting but gets the job done and that's 90% of the game. And that's what really has helped me become a pro and helped me, you know, uh, keep on progressing in the pro level. And it's just a very basic, no glam, no glitz, like kind of thing. And I really believe that like that is kind of like what's in my bag is kind of a representation of that training. I mean, it's a few cones and some balls, like that's it. And so it just goes to show you can get really good professional trainings and you can get really good individual sessions or team sessions or whatever with just the basics of a field, some balls and cones. And I really want to stress that. And that's going to be the point of this video is to show that like you don't even need cones. Like how many times when I was in New Zealand did I use soccer uh, or I use my shoes and coats or whatever as, as my cones? You just need, you know, a few balls or one ball and you can get a good session in. So for lunch, I'm just making a ton of chicken thighs and like meal prepping for like meals in the future. That's how meal prepping works. I'm, s I need to quit YouTube, I suck at this. Uh, I'm just making a lot of chicken thighs and mushrooms right now. I'll have some fruit as well for lunch. Um, I'm off my game today. I feel like I'm, this is the worst video in the world. I'm not in the frame of mind to YouTube to, YouTube, to vlog. Um, honestly, what I'm gonna do, probably, I'll show you this. I'm just gonna take the rest of the day off of vlogging. I'll edit this, I'll do some work, emails, all that stuff. Um, but then I'll just catch you tomorrow morning when I'm driving up to, uh, to Irvine to go train with the normal guys, do the normal thing, all that stuff. <sighs> I'm out of it. Oops. So Mimi and I are driving up to Irvine right now to get a training session in. Uh, we should have pretty good numbers. I'm really not 100% sure. It could be anywhere from four guys to about 10 guys. So either way, I mean, you can get we can get a good session in with four guys. We can get a great session with 10 guys. Hopefully, it's more because um, playing with more high-level players is just always better. Number a lot number for me next time. <laughs> you were in the wrong parking lot. I drove like six more minutes to get here. <laughs> I was about to take out all my stuff in my car, get ready to go. Big like time. this, and then like, I got it all, man. We just used. We just mini used sure mini I don't know how they choked on PKs. Like they were some like, like we looked bad, bro. Yeah. Like bad. From PKs. Yeah. Like bad. What's up, man? How are you? What's up, man? I'm Matt. Hello. Hey, man. Matt. Today. Sam Roy. But yeah, sometimes I forget the camera's Marcos on. Marcos and what was it? Miguel. Miguel. Marcos, Marcos. Marcos. Nice to meet you guys. How far is it for you? Um, today was actually the fastest I've ever, like it only took me like 50 minutes to get here. Yeah, that's how long it takes us, like 50, it's almost, Dude, it's was, just under an hour. This is the first time like three weeks, of, it only took me 50 minutes. I didn't get it, I understand why there was. Oh. How are you? Good. Do you mind being on camera? No, I don't care. Okay, because it's already happening. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? Yeah, oh my god. Omar hit me up at some point. Hi, nice to meet you. What's up, bro? Good to see you. What in the world? That's not even a Fresno. Oh, man. <laughs> So as you guys are seeing right now, the very first drill that we did was just 5v2s. Um, super typical standard rules, you know, one touch if you get megged or if we get 20 passes, then you have to stay in the middle again. And uh, if you, all you have to do, the people in the center, all they have to do is just tap the ball, touch the ball a little bit, and then you switch out for whoever lost the ball. Um, but we had some good combinations here and I'll let you kind of just watch that 
and listen as we uh, as we play. <laughs> should be me getting the butt out. Yes! Oh my god! 30, 40, 50, 60. Is that a mega Yeah, 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 Again, 18, 19. Yes, boy. After that, we did like a little passing combination that you guys have seen. This is kind of like wide passing where the guy opens up, he turns, and then he plays into another guy. Now, the only difference is after they open up, instead of dribbling to the end, since we had more guys, they're just going to hit like a more of a laced or hard instep pass to the guys that you can't see over in these bottom corners. And then the next thing we did was now just a one-two. So we kind of started off doing more of a simple passing drill. Now we're going a little bit more creative, a little bit more uh, passing with the one-twos on the end. And then we did like, I'd say five or so minutes with each style. And then the last style that you'll see right here coming up is now you're passing it all the way back a little short, short to long with a one-two combination and then you pass it into the end guy. And so it's just switching directions, switching to the left and to the right every single time. And this was a really, really good passing drill just again to warm us up and to work on kind of uh, more accurate first touch passing, stuff like that. But a good solid drill, fundamentals. The next drill was a 4v2 transition game. So in the last video you guys saw, we did a 3v1, I think, transition game with one guy at the end. And so basically like it was in the last video, if you haven't seen that, we're trying to hit five passes in this tight square. So once we get five, then we transition over to the next one. And now one guy just stays back on the other grid. So you transition three guys over. So once we get five, then we transition over to the next grid. Try to get five to eight passes again, and then we transition over to the next grid. And it's a really fun game that gets you thinking and just working. And I, you know, like I said, I love this drill. So this was two touches, do whatever you want, but I'll let you kind of watch it as we go on with this drill. After that, we all kind of want to do some shooting, and we had a goalkeeper. This was Jacob, and credit to Jacob, he was just in there for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, and probably took about 100 shots, and he was dead tired after all this. So, uh, so yeah, thanks for Jacob for staying in here. But here are some of the best shots. Just really simple, everybody in the line, lay it off, and just try to get it um, on frame pretty much, but some really decent strikes as you'll see. Then we kind of progressed into like kind of like volleys that you'll see, but I'll just let this kind of run, and you guys can watch. Out. Got him. Oh. 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 Oh, he got well it! Well done. Chance. Oh, which one? Yeah. Tia. Oh, uh, yeah. Same one. Oh. Nice! Oh, got him. Oh, 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 Marty! Not again. Not again. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. I'll step in now. I was going to say yeah. I'll switch. What a goal. Oh, my god. Oh, it's way too much of that. Right here, Marie. Good goal, man. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. I'll be there. Is that another Cal State eligible? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, I gotta use one of these. Ooh. Oh. That's a full right hit, though. Ooh! There you go. Z! Oh, oh, baby! Did you do this? Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> The next drill we did was a little crossing and finishing drill. So it was a little combination to a ping to the guy in the corner who would lay it off to another guy who would cross and then just kind of working on finishing. Um, so really simple. We kind of rotated around a little bit, but, uh, but yeah, the basics of it was just kind of getting everybody involved in here, everybody moving and also working on finishing. Maybe you got this on camera? Mm hmm. Yep. Four oh, ball. Oh. Elliot, second. Oh my God. You got that on one camera? More. Yep. One more. <laughs> After the crossing and finishing, we wanted to get in a game, so we kind of switched into uh, old guys versus young guys. 5v5 is a really competitive uh, game going on, but um, the young guys were all in blue. We were all in the uh, non-bibs, and we just played three games to five and then an extra little game to three. Um, obviously, old guys, we uh, started off a little bit slow, but then we came back and uh, dominated, which you'll see. But good games. I'll just show some of the best plays and some of the goals from the training session.
And that was the training session. So really, really good, competitive. I mean, we had 10 guys, 10 high-level players out here, which was awesome. Um, it was just really fun to just be out here and kind of like in a team environment. This is great, great off-season training. So super stoked about it. Like I just said, these training sessions have been awesome. I mean, you get me, Elliot, Armando, Rafael, and Matt's all USL level players. Matt's was in there today. You get, um, you know, Rafael's bringing guys from U18 Development Academy. We got Zach coming in from Cal State Fullerton. And then Omar and Sam, who both played college soccer, and now they're just more into that coaching role. But like the, the, the level here has been really, really good. I'm really happy about that. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, peace.